guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys according to the pool that i did and you guys um, wanted me to make a video this is a high, highly requested video from you guys dress for her so i'm going to use the, this opportunity to show you guys how i cut and sew my shirt dress so i have already folded this fabric into two the next thing that i will do is to measure the to know the higher circumference of her body of her basic body and from what i have with her measurement or what i have based on her measurement the higher circumference i have is her round hip and her round hip is 43 43 divided by 4 will give me 10.75 so i have to measure to make sure that i have more than 10.75 here and what i have here is uh, 15 and a half inches so it's more than enough for me so the next thing that i have to do is to fold this fabric to get two inches so i'm going to mark out two inches from here so guys i've measured the uh, um two inches away and i folded it inside so the next thing i have to do is to get the full length so because this length of this fabric is kind of so lengthy so for me remember that here is not among our measurements so this is not among our measurements so the next thing i have to do is from here measure 40 um her full length is uh, 42 but i'm adding additional three inches to it to make it 45 inches So this is from down here is 45 inches so I'm going to cut it out so let me shift so from here is 45 inches I'm going to cut it out right now to know what I'm working with so guys this is what I'm working with the length of what I'm working with so the next thing I have to do is to measure the is to measure the standard neck measurement which is three by three inches so i'm going to first of all measure the length remember that i'm not using this so i'm going to cut this thing out so that you guys can see what i'm doing so i have cut out this because it's not necessary what we are doing so from here it is will enable me to know exactly what i want so i'm going to measure three inches by three that's the standard neck measurement so and this is also a freehand tutorial but i'm going to make a pattern about this shift about this shirt dress so you guys will also know this and also know the pattern side so since i have connected our neckline the next thing is for me to shape so on this on this side you know that if you want to shape don't shape like this because it will be too tight on your client body so make your cuff to be a little bit deep so that your client can have easy access and it will be comfortable for the person to wear so the next thing is around shoulder around shoulder is uh, 13 13 divided by 2 will give me 6.5 which is so here, but I'm going to make it to be seven. Then uh, seven plus seven and a half. So seven plus half, which is seven and a half. And from here, I'm going to minus one inches from here and connect the line to her neckline. And this will become her shoulder slope. So the next thing for me is to get her shoulder to chest, shoulder to waist, shoulder and shoulder to chest, shoulder to bust, and shoulder to waist. So from here, I'm going to place my tape here to measure her shoulder to chest is eight. Her shoulder to bust 
is 12 inches. But this is not kind of required, but it's required for for to give her um, comfort and her shoulder to waist is 19. <clears throat> so her, her hip, her waist to hip is 10. Remember there is something called upper hip and lower hip or hip 1 and hip 2. So her lower hip is uh, is four. Her first hip is one. Her second hip is ten. So four and ten. So uh, that's why I marked it at the outer side of this uh, of this of of the fabric. So the next thing for me to do is. The round armhole, her round armhole is 19. 19 divided by 2 will give me 9.5. Then I'm going to make it 9. Okay, let me just make it 9.5, which is here. So I'm going to connect the line to this. So once I connect the line here, remember the shoulder slope, I'm going to, to curve it. Remember the front arm hole will be more curvy than the back arm hole. <coughs> Sorry guys. <coughs> so you see, I've gotten the arm hole. The next thing for us to do is to get, we have also gotten the shoulder slope, the neckline, the arm hole then the length of her body the next thing for us is to get her body circumference and her body circumference is her round chest is 37 37 divided by 4 we give us 9.25 so here 9.25 is somewhere here plus i'm going to be adding one and a half inches to her basic body measurement i'm going to add let me just say uh, one and a half. Okay, let me just add two inches to it, including the weaving and the, um, I, I added the um, two, I added two inches for the allowance here. So her bust is, uh, her round bust is 39, 39 divided by four. We give us nine, 9.75 so i'm going to place my tape at 9.75 and mark out our bust then add our two inches there so our hip is uh 43 round hip 43 divided by 4 we give us 10.75 so i'm going to place my tape here again then okay sorry her waistline is 37 and a half 37.5 divided by 4 we give us 9.4 so here 9.4 this is our waistline plus 2 inch seam allowance <coughs> so her bust is 10 point <coughs> sorry her round hip is 10.75 so from here 10.75 here plus two inches which is here exactly so from here this is our first hip so from here this is going to be like this so that's how to shape and this would then match the the second hip so at this point I'm going to minus one inch from here at the down part and then connect
let me bring it up for you guys to see so once you are through with this measurement and the shaping of everything so is here is now where you will decide how you want the shirt to be at the down part if you want it to be a little bit slopey or any design or symmetrical you can then cut it out or you can before you do that you can as well cut out the back to make things very easy for you so i'm going to curve this thing out so it will not have any any hash line so since i'm through with this i'm going to cut out So I'm true cutting out this side. So I'm going to use this to cut out the back. I have um, folded the back and placed the front panel to the back. So this is for easy access to enable me cut out the exact stuff that I want to use. So at the back, remember that we are not using this border. I'm going to use because this is going to have collar. Remember that. So if you have not seen my previous video on how to cut or how to make a shirt collar, please go and watch the video. But I will drop the link in the description box and also how to cut a sleeve so that you guys will go and see it because I'm going to make this video as short as possible. So for the back neck, I'm using one inch. I'll be using one inch for this. So I'm going to curve it out. So start cutting everything all out. So I'm going to start at the down part. So I'm going to be a kind of careful because this, is, this material is chiffon material. So remember that the front armhole and the back armhole is not the same. That's why we have something like this. Front armhole is more curvy than the back armhole. I didn't fold the back panel because the back panel doesn't have a um, shirt base or button folder or button um, base. So the next thing for me to do is to open that two inches that we folded in at the front side. So. Always make sure it's either you pin to avoid your your fabric from shifting, either you pin or you hold with a heavy weight. So I'm holding down with my hand. So 
so I'm through cutting so here will now be my 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 button fold remember what you added is two inches to it one inch the other one each inner one each out outer so this is going to be like this so I'm going to fold it like this then cut off this side so guys thank you for watching if you have not subscribed to my video please do so drop your comments down below and uh share with your friends and family i love you guys and see you guys in my next video